to Stylish Ninja YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to Stylish Ninja YouTube channel. Thank you for your love, for your support. So I really appreciate all of the love and the support. Thank you so much. Okay, so in today's video, I'm, I'm going to be showing you how to cut an asymmetric skirt. So this is like a beginner's project. What I mean by a beginner's project is that as a beginner, after watching this video, you will be able to cut and sew this skirt. And it is a very simple skirt. You can do it in two ways. You can decide to add a zipper to it. Or you can decide to add a waist, an elastic waistband. So as a beginner, I want you to try out this um, skirt. Send me a picture on WhatsApp. Send me a picture of it on Stylish Ninja Sewing Group on Facebook. Okay, so let's get started. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be needing a pattern because you actually need a pattern paper for you to be able to cut out and then before transferring to your fabric. So I have some basic lines. So the first thing we're going to draft out our normal basic straight skirt. So if you are new to Stylish Ninja YouTube channel, you are very and highly, highly welcome. If you have not subscribed, please, I will appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell to get an update whenever I upload a new video. So that's just like basically the essence. And if you want to register for our online classes, you can see my number scrolling through the screen. Just send me a message on WhatsApp and then I'll give you the details of the classes that we have available. Okay, so I have the first line that I have here. This is like, I'm going to use this as a start line. So for a skirt, your hip and part, the hip is usually between 9 and 10 inches. So I'll be making use of 9 inches. So that is why I have the this line here so this is my hip line this is my waist line that's like the start line and then the next line is the length of my skirt which is 22 that's the full length of my skirt so the next thing i'm going to add my waist measurement so you divide your waist measurement into four for a beginner so for instance my waist is 30 inches So when you divide 30 into 4, you are going to have 7.5. You divide, so you are going to add 7.5. This is 7.5. So I'm going to add 1 inch for my that. And then I'll just put half of an inch for my stitching allowance. So I'm just going to mark it like this. And then I'll come to the hip part. So for the hip, you divide your hip measurement also. You divide your hip measurement into 4. So my hip is... 40. So you're going to divide 40 into 4. You are going to have 10 inches. This is 10. And then I'll add half of an inch for stitching allowance. So I'll just take, you're just going to take this, just connect the two lines like this. You know that it's not straight. And then the next thing, you're going to add the length of the skirt. That's the, the hem, that's the down part. So what you're going to do, you're just going to take what you have here. You take out 2 inches from it. And then you mark it and then you connect it like this to that part so this part you are going to blend it up so it's not meant to be straight to be sharp like that so this is just a very simple way of cutting out your skirt and then you take out the dart so i'll use my post pan Half of my bust span measurement, which is four. So this is where I'm going to add my dots. I'll just do this. I'll take half of an. So I'll just run really a straight line like this. The so dot. I'll take half of an inch to this side, and then half of an inch to this side, and then it mark the length of your dot. So for the length, I'll use four point five. Is okay. You're just going to mark it straight down like this and then you connect this to this and then this to this so this is your waist that so for a beginner this is your skirt so you cut out right now The next thing we're going to do now, we're going to cut out so this um, pattern. I'm going to use it to cut, uh, cut the back and the front. So for the back, all you are going to do, you are just going to add an extra inch like this to the back pattern for your zipper allowance. Okay, so the next thing, we're going to open this up and then cut 
out our asymmetric part so i'm going to extend this hip line because i'm going to use it it's going to serve as a guide for me i'll just extend the lines so you are going to determine how you want your skirt as in where you want your cut to come from you determine that so for mine i'm going to come to my hip line like this i'm just going to come to about two inches just one inch above my hip line so that's where i'm going to mark that's where i'm going to start slanting it from like this so i'll mark the one inch here and then you are going to determine from that part i'm going to cut it into um you can decide to cut it to this hemline that's if you want to increase the length of your skirt do you understand that's this okay i'm so sorry the length of the skirt that i use is actually 22 inches so if you want to that is symmetric um parts the rougher part if you want it to extend you you take it from this point and cut it to this point but if you still want to maintain your 22 inches of your skirt you don't want the length to be more than 22 this is what you are going to do so from this point you are going to determine where you want to cut it up to you understand so i'm just going to come to this point like this i'm going to come to 16 inches about 16 inches so from this 16 inches here's what i'm going to do i'm just going to create like a slant like this and to go into this part it's a simple process if you feel it's not long enough you can you can come down more you can come down more. so what we have now is about 17 inches like this so from this point now i'm going to cut like this See what I have. So what I my full length of the skirt that I want is, to, is still going to be twenty. It's still going to be twenty two. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut this now. I'm going to cut out the back and the front of the skirt. So I put it on my fabric. Okay. So you see, I finished cutting my skirt. So this is my pattern like this. So I cut it. Just cut it now. So the next thing we are going to do now, we are going to cut the ruffle that will be at the down of our skirt. So in cutting the ruffle that will be at the down, what you are going to do, you are going to double the length, that's the width. The length, since the length is going to be the same length, we are going to use this pattern. That's what we cut out from our, from our skirt. The only thing that we are going to do is that the length, we are going to increase the width. Of our because you know we're going to give it small small tiny plates. So you are going to take your pattern like this, you place it here, here like this. I'm just going to place it like this, and then I'm going to I'm going to use my chalk. So what I have here, the weight I have here now is 19. That's on my pattern is 19. And what I have here is 39. That is almost 40. So it's just 19 plus 30, 19. So it's almost double. That's what it is. So on this part like this, I'm just going to I'm just going to do this like this. You understand? I'm just trying to create this asymmetric line here like this. I'll just cut it out and then I'll cut it out. So the down part, I'm going to shape the down with one and done. That's what I mean is that I'm going to straighten the down when I'm done. Okay. So I have this here and then I have this. So here is what we are going to do see it is a very simple process so you see what we have now you see this part all we're just going to do is we are going to pleat this 
into this part and then pleat it to this part like this. You understand? So you see what we have. So like I said, this is what I'm actually making this look. So when I'm done, I'm going to trim it to the length. Okay, so don't... So the easiest and simple way to do this, you can do this in two ways. I can set to take it one at a time, like this. And then I'll pleat. I'll just go ahead and go and pleat it like this on this part and then pleat the back. So I'll go ahead and go and do that right now. Okay, so I finish teach I finish joining it. So you just splitting it, just, just like I said, you just split it on it. Just split it straight. So I'll turn it this way so you'll understand it more. So this is the side of my skirt. So my own skirt, I'm going to add a band, just a waist, a waist elastic waistband on it. So you see how it is looking. So the only thing that is remaining is just going to join it on this side and then trim to the length. So in trimming to the length, so you can just decide to use this like this. Or you can just decide to measure because this is the part that has the regular length. This other part is longer. Okay. So you just measure it up to your desired length and then you trim. And then you trim it. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and join the side and then I'll place it on the mannequin. So you see how simple it is to make this case for you to see. Okay, so at the end of the day, so you can see how our asymmetric skirt is looking like. So you, if you notice, my own is not very full. So I use the that's the length, the width between here and here, which is um, 40 inches. So I doubled it. I doubled it. So if you want yours to be fuller than this, you can decide to use the, use three times the length. That's the length to pleat. So when you pleat it, it will be fuller than what I have. So other than that, that's just the only thing. So depends on where, where you want. If you don't want this part. So this is the actual length of the skirt. So this one is the added part. So if you want the skirt to be shorter, so you can just trim it to however. So most of this kind of skirt, you really don't line them. It's good to use soft fabric. So when you are done, you can trim to your desired result and then use an overlock or you hem it. So thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, I would appreciate if you hit on the like button and then subscribe if you have not done. So thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you.